Hey, Robotic One Three Four, Robert here. Stars. Well, red dwarves and yellow dwarves, such as our sun, as G Two Star, are massive enough to fuse two hydrogen particles, smash them together, and you get a helium particle. But what are these three objects down here? Well, not Tady One. Tady One is able is able to fuse its hydrogen. Although, what are these two objects here? Gliese 229b and Wise 1828. Well, Gliese 229b is a T-type brown dwarf. What is a brown dwarf, you may be asking? Brown dwarfs are basically gas giants that have got so much mass, although they weren't able to become true stars. Now, if you're wondering, do they have thermal fusion reactions inside them? Yes, but not very powerful ones like in normal stars. Instead, instead of fusing hydrogen, they fuse deuterium. Most of them. Because some actually fuse lithium, which is a lot more powerful than deuterium. Deuterium isn't that powerful. But, don't you ever think that this brown dwarf looking picture is basically kind of like a light bulb inside a spherical shell. Although, you're wondering, what is WISE 1828? Well, it's basically an ultra cool brown dwarf, very similar to a black dwarf. It's ultra cool. And yeah, they barely give off any heat. In fact, if Earth was orbiting, like for an example, WISE 1828, we'd probably not live on this planet. KD1 is basically a red dwarf brown dwarf because it's smaller than a red dwarf although it is still massive enough to fuse hydrogen. Well, now you know what brown dwarfs are. Their size is actually bigger than Jupiter. Of course, this picture doesn't show you that their size is bigger than Jupiter, but it actually is. Although some brown dwarfs are actually similar in size to Jupiter somehow. But I don't know why I said somehow. By the way, your local Danica should comment on this video. <laughs> yeah, it's just me. If, well, if there are actually comments on this video, if the comment section is open, I doubt it will. Well, if it is, then go ahead. Well, Today we've learned that brown dwarves are basically a gas giant that is able to fuse some elements, deuterium, and more massive ones are able to fuse a more powerful element called lithium. Both are similar to hydrogen. So, although they do not give us as much energy as hydrogen. So, hopefully you guys learned something from space. I got some more space videos coming up.